So these are the brand new Feastables bars. They look pretty good. For those of you that don't know, Feastables is Mr. Beast's chocolate bar brand, and he makes all sorts of different types of chocolates. Feastables has been selling chocolate bars since like 2022, but apparently they came out with a brand new recipe and flavor, and these bars are supposed to taste better. For reference, this is the packaging of the old chocolate bars, and this is the packaging for the new chocolate bars. I think we have to call a spade a spade here and say that this packaging looks way better than the old packaging. This is a coffee channel, right? We're not just gonna sit here and eat chocolate bars. Well, I'm gonna try the chocolate bars to see which one's better, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is I have three of the milk chocolate Feastables chocolate bars, and I wanna see if we can turn them into three separate drinks. But first, I do wanna try this chocolate bar. This is so good. I'm making a Feastables hot cocoa for our first drink. I wanted to do a play on that viral French hot chocolate recipe that's going around on TikTok because after trying these Feastables chocolate bars, they are so creamy and so smooth that I think it's gonna be perfect for a hot chocolate. You might be sitting there saying that Feastables is mid, and normally I would agree with you because the old Feastables bars are definitely mid, but these new ones are super good. I'm a purveyor of all sweets, and the only way that I could describe the flavor of these new chocolate bars is like the interior of those Cadbury eggs. And it's not the big eggs, with the cream on the inside, it's the little eggs. So this is the finished product of our Feastables hot chocolate. The traditional way to eat this in France is with a ton of freshly made whipped cream. So I'll take one big scoop and then we have this beautiful hot chocolate. This is so good. I'm making a Feastables mocha for our second drink. Like I said before, this is a coffee page and like a coffee page should, we're gonna make some espresso to make a mocha. I feel like a mocha is the pinnacle drink in the coffee world. Let me explain. If you don't know anything about coffee and you go into a coffee shop and you're like looking at their menu and you're like, I have no idea what these drinks are, but then you see mocha, chances are you're gonna order that mocha because you know what it is. And even if you don't know what it is exactly, you know that there's chocolate and hey, chocolate's good. As somebody that lives inside of the coffee community, I always ask people what their very first coffee drink was and almost always it's a mocha. I think that was my first drink too. So now we got the Feastables Mocha. Yo, this one is actually better than the hot chocolate. I think the espresso adds even more richness to the chocolate bar. I wonder if Mr. Beast likes coffee. <laughs> I'm making a Feastables milkshake for our third drink, which admittedly isn't really a milkshake and more of a blended coffee. I gotta say, I think it's the stupidest thing in the entire world when I see somebody go to Starbucks and order one of their Frappuccinos because you can make it at home with just a few easy ingredients and a blender. So we got our Feastables blended coffee in here. It kind of looks like a chocolate milkshake. Look at that texture too. This reminds me of a drink that you get from like McDonald's in a good way. I think Feastables and McDonald's could do a pretty cool Mick Cafe collab. Wow. I know I said I was only gonna do three coffees, but I have this measly piece of chocolate left and I know exactly what to do with it. I felt like this was gonna be so satisfying because this piece of chocolate had these little ridges on the side and it kind of filled up that entire piece of chocolate with espresso and then it finally just kind of collapsed in until I put my hand in front of the camera and totally ruined it. Anywho, thanks for watching this far in the video and make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.